So now, uh, Mr. Fawaz, we have uh, a few more just topics. Uh, uh, maybe we can cover them in maximum 10, 15 minutes. And then mm -hmm. tomorrow or day after tomorrow, whenever you can catch me back in chat. No worries, OK? okay. Now, this H2S, uh, you know, we, we already understood how to use SCBA, but now there is another personal monitor, which it need to be all the time with us, you know, while we are working in uh, oil and gas, or especially in, even in construction projects, especially in confined spaces or in confined areas, we have to be with the T40 right there. But uh, this is kind of a personal monitor, never replaces a guest testing device. Now, how we use it actually, that video will give you a, a deep understanding, inshallah. The front of the instrument contains the window display screen, the on off button, and the mode button. Located on top of the instrument is the red visual alarm, a calibration adapter unit, and a filter which covers the gas intake port. On the bottom of the instrument is the cap for the battery compartment and a barcode identification for the T40 Rattler. The instrument has an attachment clip on the back side for securing it onto the user's wearing apparel. To turn the unit on, press and hold the on-off button until the word on appears on the display. The T40 Rattler will power up and begin a warm-up routine, lasting approximately 20 seconds, which includes tests of the display, audible, visual, and vibrating alarms. Following this brief warm-up, the T40 Rattler enters the gas readings mode, signified by the four-digit display and the gas identifier icon. This instrument has a hydrogen sulfide sensor installed as identified by this H2S icon. Also note the battery icon located here, indicating full battery power. As battery power decreases, segments of the icon will disappear. And here's an example of the T40 Rattler with a carbon monoxide sensor installed. A CO icon indicates the instrument is monitoring for carbon monoxide gas. To turn off the T40 Rattler, simply press and hold this on-off button for five seconds. A four-beep signal is sounded and the instrument is now off. The various modes of the T40 Rattler can be accessed and viewed by simply pressing the mode button. The first mode is the peak mode, which displays the highest concentration of monitored gas recorded since peaks were last cleared. In this case, the highest concentration of hydrogen sulfide gas was 15 ppm. The next mode is the low level alarm preset of 10 ppm for hydrogen sulfide. And the next mode is the preset high level alarm of 20 ppm for hydrogen sulfide. These levels are factory set and cannot be changed. Pressing the mode button again brings us back to the normal reading mode. For carbon monoxide T40 monitors, the Rattler will alarm at 35 and 70 ppm. More factory presets of 25 and 50 ppm can be ordered for CO monitoring. To clear peak readings recorded in the monitor, press the mode button to the peak display and then press the on off button and the peak reading is now cleared from memory. The monitor will automatically return to the normal reading mode after clearing the peak reading as shown. Industrial Scientific recommends that a periodic function test be performed on the T40 Rattler using a known concentration of calibration gas. For this hydrogen sulfide T40 Rattler, 25 ppm hydrogen sulfide span gas is introduced as shown directly into the instrument. The low level alarm is factory set at 10 ppm, so the low level alarm should activate when the instrument detects a concentration of 10 ppm. The unit has responded properly, as you see and hear. 
In the event that the unit fails to respond properly to this function test, or if the monitor is dropped, submerged, or appears damaged, a full calibration should be performed. You must zero the monitor before calibrating. To zero the monitor, flip the calibration adapter to the opposite side of the instrument as shown. Then press the on-off and mode button simultaneously. The T40 Rattler will automatically zero and beep after approximately 10 seconds, indicating that the zeroing process is complete. Using a cylinder of industrial scientific calibration gas containing a concentration of 25 ppm hydrogen sulfide and a constant flow regulator, attach the supplied tubing from the regulator onto the calibration adapter as shown. Turn on the gas and simultaneously press the on, off, and mode button. The T40 Rattler will begin to show its response to the applied gas as a full span on the display. One of three conditions will be displayed at the conclusion of this span calibration. If good is displayed, the sensor is healthy and should operate for an extended period of time. If pass is displayed, the sensor passed calibration but has a marginal response and if the word fail appears in the display, the sensor did not pass calibration, meaning the sensor has reached the end of its useful life or the calibration gas was not accurate or has run out. Remember the T40 Rattler is factory programmed to accept 100 ppm carbon monoxide and 25 ppm hydrogen sulfide span gas inputs. Gases and other concentrations will result in inaccurate or failed calibrations. The calibration demonstrated here resulted in a good status. After removing the introduction of gas, flip the calibration adapter back to its original position to resume normal gas reading operation. When the T40 Rattler detects concentrations of gas being monitored at levels beyond the factory preset levels, Audible, visual, and vibrating alarms will be activated. A high-level alarm is indicated by a constant warbling sound and vibration, along with a blinking red visual alarm as demonstrated. A low-level alarm is indicated by an audible beep approximately every second, along with vibration and a blinking red visual alarm. T40 Rattler operates for up to 500 hours on a single AA alkaline battery. The icon on the display continuously shows the extent of battery life, and when low battery condition occurs, two quick beeps every 30 seconds will warn of that condition. To replace the battery, simply insert the supplied hex tool into the battery cap and rotate one eighth turn counterclockwise as indicated. Make certain batteries are reinstalled with proper polarity, the positive end going in first. Replace the battery cap and turn clockwise. Industrial Scientific recommends periodic inspection of two filters located beneath the calibration adapter on the top of the T40 Rattler. Proper operation could be impaired if they become blocked by dirt, moisture, or debris. Replacement filters are available from Industrial Scientific. They are self-adhesive filters, and the protective paper backing must be removed before use. Then carefully remove the worn filter and replace it with the new self-adhesive filter. The other filter can be replaced in the same manner. These replacement filters, along with a wide selection of calibration gases, tubing, and regulators are available. Contact your local distributor or industrial scientific. Hello? Yeah. So, I hope, uh, you know, this would have given you uh, detailed information.